Check this out, folks. Listen, how many times have you guys went out to get yourself some Asian food and you got yourself some Chinese barbecue pork, right? It's so easy to make. I'm finna show you how to do it. Let's go. You can see we got a few ingredients right here. These are ingredients I'm gonna ask you guys to keep if you don't already have them in your pantry or your cupboards already. You know what I mean? Back here, I got that white sugar. Don't forget, the full ingredient list is on my website. And don't forget, it's printable, folks. That's www.smokingandgrillingwithab.com. And that's witab.com. Now, if you pay attention right here, look, this is gonna be the star right here. I'm using a little, this is the pork shoulder, pork butter, whatever you wanna call it. You know what I mean? It has a bone in. I'm gonna show you guys how to cut it. But actually, we're getting ready to cube it, right? But the first thing we wanna do is we wanna marinate. You know what I mean? Because when you think about that right off the back everybody says to themselves how did they get the pork to be that color all right as i indicated look there's the bone right so we don't want to have that so you want to take a sharp knife i'm using my chef knife right i'm gonna go ahead and just cut this down like this look at this right here look at this just that good meat folks right so when you have it i just want to get some like decent sized cubes right i would for a piece like this i would probably cut this into thirds you know, so cut it here, right? And then we cut this one here. You know what? It kind of like, look, uh, I'll just cut it like this, right? You can see the fat right here. That's a whole lot of flavor. All that's going to come into play. Some of that's going to render down, right? But this is what you want to have right here. Look at this. So to educate, this right here will be called like the marbling, right? But all of this will render down. No need to like really do some of this soft stuff won't, you know what I mean? Uh, but for the majority of it, it will. Now I'm going to finish cutting this and then we're going to make the marinade. Okay, so look, I got it all cut down. You want to have like little cubes like this. This is cool. You know what I mean? Uh, you really want them to all be about the same because you know what's going to happen is some might get ready a little bit before the others. You know what I mean? So basically these are all about the same size. But this is a nice piece. You pick this up with a fork or your chopsticks. chopsticks. I don't know why I can't talk. Chopsticks, and then you go ahead and uh, put that in your mouth. Serve this with some long grain rice, you know, jasmine, something like that, and uh, you're good to go. Now, we're getting ready to make ourselves, put this right here. We're getting ready to make the marinade, right? So, let me get my ingredients. Don't forget, everything's on my website. It's printable now. And thank you guys for bringing back some feedback, saying you'd love to have it that way. You know what I mean? So. Hey, it even worked like this. You can uh, go there if you're in the store, just screenshot it, and then you got it while you're in the grocery store. All right, so I'm gonna start with my hosing, my hoising. You know what I mean? We're gonna get like about a half a cup, right? So we we'll just probably pour it in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just pour it all in here. Now you guys can mix this in a bowl if you like. If you don't have one of these zip quickers to hold your, you know, if you don't have one to hold your, you know, Ziploc or whatever type of bag you're using, go ahead and just put it in like a, you know, like a, a glass jar. Not a jar, but you know, some kind of bowl, right? Next, I'm getting ready to put in my soy. So now I'm, I'm getting ready to do like about a quarter cup, right, of my soy. It's okay that I'm using this without it being clean because listen, all these ingredients are gonna marry together anyway. You know what I mean? So this is how we get down and this will help get everything inside of my, my bag. We wanna do it just the way I show you folks. This is gonna make something incredible, right? All right, and now I'll do my oyster sauce. All right, you want to put like about a couple of tablespoons. All right, we're going to add a little chili flakes. Now be careful with this one. It's up to you guys how, much, how hot you want this to be. But you know what I mean? I'm going to give you everything that you need down in my, uh, on my website, you know, for the ingredient list. And then you guys can tailor make it from there. All right, I'm going to take my black pepper. You know what I mean? I like to put in about a, I don't know, a little bit more than a half a teaspoon, you know? So anywhere between a half a teaspoon to a full teaspoon. Right? And then for my garlic, take this and we're gonna do a smash. You guys can mince it if you would like, but I like to smash it when I do marinades, right? So we just drop those in like that. All right? And then over here to my left, I got my hot soapy water. This way, by the time I get, when I get through with this, I'm finna clean up everything and then I'll be ready for the next phase, right? So. I'm going to show you one thing that I'm going to do. Instead of closing this bag, let me go ahead and grab myself a whisk. And I'm just going to whisk this all together inside the bag. Being careful not to tear it. Right? And I'll show you guys what it looks like in just one second. All right. So now you guys can look, you know, get a top down bird's eye view of what it looks like. Right? So now we just want to take it and we just put, you know, our pork inside of here. Oh, man. This already got my mouth watering. 
This seems to be like a crowd favorite, folks. Now, again, I'm gonna just get take some of the air out in the very beginning. Come on, y'all. There we go. Not all of it. And then we just give it a massage. Right? Now I'm gonna take it, let the rest of the air out. Just open it up a little bit, let it out. All right, let's see, like that. And there you have it. Now I'm getting ready to put this in the uh, refrigerator. Hey, listen, for this here, I've done it in four hours, it's great. Eight is the best that I can say, but well, I can say that'd be like the second best, eight hours in the refrigerator, but overnight. You know what, folks? This right here. So if you give it a little bit of thought, but it can be done, you know, in four hours and it'll be right. Now, let me put this up and I'll see you in a minute. All right, so you get them in here like this. Now I use a little bit of smaller little uh, dish, you know what I mean? But I like to pour a little bit of this on there. You don't need no whole lot, you know what I mean? It's gonna settle and get down on the bottle. And this is one of them type of uh, dishes, you know, recipes that it doesn't matter. Like you don't have to have that space, right? When we put it in here, listen, we finna put a little sugar on the top of this. Look, you wanna take yourself some white sugar and you just wanna sprinkle a little bit of this right here on the top right here. I know it might be a little different, but if you guys ever had this before, now you know the secret ingredient, right? It's just sugar. All right, so now I'm not gonna cover this or nothing like that. I'm at 375, let's put this in there, put it in the center. And now we're gonna wait about 20, 25 minutes, right? Now the way we gonna know that it hit the right temperature, because I'm gonna check it at 20 minutes, I'm gonna use my meat thermometer. That right there, that's key. This is what it looks like when it comes out, right? But now I'm getting ready to raise my, my oven up, because I want it to be a little bit on the crispy side, right? So this is what I'm getting ready to do. I'm gonna, let's go ahead and stop this. Now we're gonna hit broil, right? That's high, and once we start it, once this comes up to temp, we're gonna go ahead and get these edges and all of that nice and crispy. All right, and then I told you, this is the way you do it. When you put this in here like this, and you look, I'm at 150. It's gonna cool a little bit as my, you know, as my oven comes up. This one's at 148, oh yeah, these are right. But you can see they super soft, look at that. That's what you wanna do. Now, as soon as I come up to temp, we're gonna stick them in there, probably for about three to four minutes on each side, you know what I mean, to get them a little bit crispy, put that little edge on it, serve it with some rice, Garnish with a little green onion, and we finna eat. This is what we have once we flip it for the first time. Keep a little bit of that heat in there. All right, so now, look at that. That give you them little crispy edges, that little dark. Now that's the sugars in it, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and just flip these over, put it back in there for about another three or four minutes. What I do is I watch it, you guys. If you watch it, you can see it. You know, it'll just have it right in front of your eyes. You don't want it to get too dark. You don't want to put a whole lot of heat on it. That's why we expediting the heat right so that we don't really have to cook it so much on the inside you know when you put it on broil it'll cook real fast on the outside now we put it back and then we'll be done okay folks so you guys seen the whole thing you know what it's really like when you put it in the broiler i suggest that you guys go ahead and do that you know what I mean? It's the crispy edges that does it for me, and I'm sure it's gonna do it for y'all. It's something about that caramelization of that sugar, like, oh my goodness. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give me a little sauce, put that on the top right there. All right, we don't have no drippies. Check it out. Cheers, y'all. Yeah, this is it on the money right here. I bet you, I'm gonna say it like this. I bet y'all never thought you'd go to a channel called Smoking and Grilling with AB and be finding these Asian recipes like this. Listen, it's just super easy. Once you guys know, you know. Now you guys can tailor it the way you want to. Try it the way I just showed you guys. And if you want it to be a little bit more sweeter, if we make the adjustments, you make them on your end. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button to tell everybody out here. There's a channel out here to simplify these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I'm ready to end this video so I can take these chopsticks out, get this fork so I can eat. I'm out. Peace.